morning, guys, and welcome back. I'm Chris Mazzarella, and you're watching No Reserve Classics. And before we get started, guys, if you haven't done it already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, because you never know, your dream ride could be in the next video. So here it is, 1969 Chevrolet Camaro RSSS Supercharged LS3 Pro Touring Resto Mod. Under the hood, this baby is featuring a 6.2 liter LS3 motor powered by a Magnuson supercharger, pushing over 730 horsepower. All that is going through a Tremec T56 six-speed manual transmission, and of course, a four nine-inch rear end. On the exterior of this Camaro, painted in a super high gloss red paint job, it has been offset by a painted satin black stripe from front to rear. All of the chrome on this vehicle has been deleted and powder coated with the matching satin black coating as well. Setting that off are those custom Budnick 18 inch racing wheels that have been two-toned with a satin black face and a gloss black lip. And if you take your eyes just a little bit further, you'll notice those awesome Willwood disc brakes holding down this mini tub 305 millimeter wide rear tire. On the interior of this car, fully customized with diamond stitching from front to back and brand new Brom seating. It has digital Dakota gauges, vintage air conditioning, and a JL sound system with over six speakers, two subwoofers. All of it is powered to a Kenwood radio with wireless CarPlay. On the underbody of this car, super show winning, matching the top side of this car, painted in a gloss red paint, really showcasing that TCI tubular subframe from front all the way to the back, which includes power rack and pinion, tubular and upper lower control arms, and of course, coilovers. Holding in that four nine inch rear end is that Rytec triangulated four link system with Rytec coilovers. This Camaro not only has the show, but definitely all the go. And I know you guys can't be with me here today on this beautiful turntable, but if you visit us at No Reserve Classics, you'll be able to take this Camaro for a virtual 360 degree tour. That's right, with a simple swipe of a finger, you'll be able to view the beautiful exterior of this Camaro. And after you're done with that, hop over to the inside for another 360 degree virtual tour. And if you guys have any questions on how to get this Camaro into your garage, feel free to give me a call, Chris, at 1-800 562-7815, and I'll be sure to guide you through the full process. I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready to hear how over 730 horsepower sounds like. Clutch in, we're in neutral, and blast off. Woo wee Oh my goodness. Yeah, baby, that supercharger is screaming. Woo-hoo. All right, guys. Hop inside and let's go for a ride. Who knows, I might even let you guys take the wheel for a little bit. Woohoo! So already getting into this car, first little tiny pull, my head just went back. This car is just simply amazing. From the outside, you have that awesome fire engine red with that thick black stripe on the front coming right off of that rs kit with those custom budnick wheels dropping down to the inside where it's fully custom and super comfortable and the underbody putting this car fully together this is a wonderful piece of machinery right here and i will tell you all of the components of this car are simply awesome and they make you feel great and you look even better. Woo! So as you guys can tell, a super powerful, over 700 horsepower, 6.2 liter engine in this bad boy. And you can feel every bit of that Magnuson supercharger. Let me tell you, as soon as that boost gauge over here starts to spool up, your head just gets taken back with the amount of torque that engine is pushing through this six-speed transmission. And I will tell you, they did it right because they put that four nine-inch in the rear that can handle over 1,120 horsepower in this bad boy. Man, so going through the gears on this car is simply amazing. 
it, it goes right in. I mean, drop a gear, disappear, but you could feel it. Just very comfortable going in a gear, out of gear. Feels very nice and very smooth. Enough play on the clutch that you can tell when it's grabbing. It is a triple disc hydraulic clutch on here. So if you do need to downshift, it catches right away with minimal wheel spin on this bad boy. Now, when you do get a little bit of wheel spin, you'll notice those Nitto tires that are on this bad boy. Man, once they get heated up, they stick right to the road. Now, those tires wrap those custom Budnick wheels. They are staggered from the front to the back and they are custom powder coated because they are a two piece forged wheel. They're welded together, so super strong. We had them powder coated with a satin black face and a gloss black lip, definitely offsetting this bad boy and letting you see the wheel with disc brakes that are stopping this 700 horsepower monster. Now, if you do notice around the outside of the car too, we powder coated a lot of this. I mean, the, the trims on the side, the rocker trims, the wheel well trims, they're all satin black, giving this that monster look. And it all goes right to the front of that car. What I do like is how that satin black stripe really sets this car off. I haven't seen another one with this type of stripe. Normally you'll see like a, a rally stripe or a single stripe or the hockey stripe or the bumblebee stripe. Totally custom, totally one off. You have that awesome stripe that's super thick with the two little pinstripes on there, giving that mean aggressive look. I mean, the stance of the wheels on the side of the car, from the front of the car, the blacked out tail pan. This car looks menacing from every single turn. And if you think the outside of the car is badass, wait until you get to the inside. It's a mix of sport and luxury combined into one full custom diamond stitch interior, looking absolutely great. And it starts off right in front of you with a full custom TMI dash that was hand stitched. And it goes down into the custom carbon fiber gauges. Now they are stainless steel auto meter gauges that give you everything from RPM to fuel to gas to the voltmeter. Gives you everything you want to need right in front of you. Right to the side of that, you're going to get the vintage air. Not just any vintage air, fully digital electronic dash. This thing is super expensive. Just for this one little piece, it's about seven, eight hundred bucks just for a climate control display. But it looks good and it looks like it was mated with this car. Flowing through a little bit, you're gonna have a little bit more carbon fiber on your door pillars. Right here, your A pillars with your boost gauge and your air fuel ratio also by AEM. Now, comfort and handling. As soon as you get into this car, you have those awesome Brom seating. They are a full bucket seating. They allow up to a 40 inch waist in these bad boys. So it doesn't matter how wide you are, you can go front, back, and even lean back, front and back as well. So just about anybody could fit in this vehicle. You need a little bit more, you have the I did it steering column with the adjustable tilt steering column with the matching Budnick wheels racing steering wheel. I mean, you got everything. We have three point seat belts with the full custom center console. Amenities, right? What are the amenities in our cars that we take for granted? Seat belts, cup holders, radios, power windows, power door locks, stuff like that. This baby's got it. Now in that center console, which also has the matching white stitching that you see on the door panels, the back seats, and the seating as well, is that six speed manual transmission. Just above that, a cup holder. Yes, guys, it is illuminated. So as soon as you pull that headlight switch, bam, you have that demon red LED in there. Just lighting up your water bottle or whatever you're drinking. Right above that, power windows that are hooked up to these awesome tinted windows. And it's all the way around. I really like how it's in the center console and it's not on the door panels. So that way you just lean your hand forward, 
and you can knock down all the windows without having to lean over left or right. Very, very nice and very comfortable. And just above that is that awesome double din Kenwood radio that's got AM, FM, and Bluetooth. So you take your phone, throw it in the glove box, or simply just plug it right in right here and forget about it. You got Apple CarPlay and Bluetooth. I mean, a 54-year-old car with Apple CarPlay and Bluetooth. And what I really like about this radio is it has a backup camera. That's right. As soon as you put it in reverse, the backup camera goes on. And as soon as you put it into first gear, it shows you what's up ahead. So that way, when you get into a sparking spot, you can definitely get as close as you need to without scraping the front of this bad boy. Don't get me wrong. This exhaust sounds great when you downshift, but sometimes you're just in the mood and you want to listen to your tunes. You're surrounded by over, not one, two, three, four, five, but six speakers plus two JL subwoofers in the custom trunk as well. So this bad boy's got it all. The powerful engine, the powerful transmission, rear end, the crazy suspension, and the beautifully handcrafted one-off interior. Now with all this horsepower, like I was saying guys, this car is really surprisingly comfortable. And you can see it peeking through the engine compartment, the TCI engineering total subframe. I mean, it's tubular, a tubular subframe through this entire vehicle. And not only do you get that, you get everything that it's added with it. Tubular and upper lower control arms, a front sway bar, power rack and pinion steering, and you can't forget the ride set coilovers. And all that's transferred to that four link setup right in the rear with of course the ride tech coilovers matching the front ones in there and that baby really holds in that four nine inch rear slamming down all that power well guys enough of me talking about this car i want you to get in the driver's seat and see what this car is all about so let's go fun. 
thank you for shifting gears with me and taking corners like a pro. So let's head back to the barn so I can show you guys a little bit more about this 69 Camaro. Well, I hope you guys had just as much fun as I did driving this Camaro. So now we are here back at the barn. So let's talk a little bit more in depth about this baby. So here she is with a devilish and aggressive stance. This one Camaro is surely one not to be missed. Now remember, this Camaro was built as a pro touring Camaro and was definitely driven as one. Starting in the front end of this vehicle, you will notice that the Detroit Speed RSSS electronic headlight kit with the simple pull of the headlight knob you will release the Restomotted LED high performance headlight package that sits deep within, giving you a very bright look at the road ahead while driving during the night. But when you're driving during the day, you can simply pull the knob halfway and have that beautiful halo ring accented behind the headlight doors. Now, normally with a plastic molded lower D80 spoiler, this vehicle has been outfitted with a custom metal chin spoiler that has been powder coated in a satin black finish, giving it ample rock protection. Sitting in between is the satin black painted front bumper that has been tucked in and bolts deleted, giving it a smooth finish. As our eyes scroll up that steel cowl induction hood, it has been painted satin black with a thick stripe that covers the hood, giving the impression of driving while standing still. Now, while it might be hard to notice, but all of the once chrome attributes have also been powder coated in a satin black finish from the front Camaro emblem to the side markers, to the rockers and wheel wells, to all of the side window molding and even the wiper blades, really giving it a modern day car appearance. On the side of the vehicle, an aggressive yet elegant stance is brought to you by the Budnick two-tone 18-inch staggered wheels that are wrapped in the Nitto NT 555R tires. Now the wheels have been powder coated in a two-tone finish with a satin black face and a gloss black lip, really setting off what's behind them. And if you're able to glance beyond those wheels, you'll see the Willwood power disc brakes on all four wheels that are paired up with drilled and slotted rotors, definitely stopping this Camaro as fast as it accelerates. And don't worry about getting traction because this Camaro is mini tub, fitting a massive 305 millimeter wide tire. And last but not least, the tail end of this Camaro has the correct big block blacked out tail pan with billet aluminum LED tail lights, which let's face it, if you're seeing this car on the road, this is probably the view you guys will be looking at. As we open the hood to this 732 horsepower Camaro, you are struck in awe. With an award-winning and clean engine bay, you can tell just how much care was put into this Camaro when it was put together. Starting from the front, a custom filler panel has been placed and powder coated in a satin black finish accenting the Magnuson supercharger that sits on top of this 6.2 liter LS3 engine. Now, once a 430 horsepower motor has been turned into a whopping 732 horsepower at the rear wheels. Keeping such a high horsepower motor cool is a job on its own. An AFCO racing aluminum radiator with dual electronic fans is paired up with a CR overflow tank and a CR custom air induction system. Aftermarket headers, ceramic plug wires, braided and sealed lines, a grip tech pulley system, and even Innovators West Inc. billet pulley system really ensure that we get the most horsepower out of this Camaro. Now with having such a modern day motor means you get the modern amenities that come with it, such as a high output alternator, power hydraulic rack and pinion steering, and even air conditioning. And to finish it off, a fully painted flush firewall and painted inner fender wells put this supercharged LS3 on a pedestal, giving this Camaro not only the show, but definitely all the go. 
As we enter the inside of this Camaro, you are greeted with not only a racing-inspired interior, but a luxurious and comfortable one as well. The amenities do not fall short as we embrace ourselves in custom diamond stitch upholstery from Brahm on the front seating. The diamond stitching also appears in the door panels as well as the rear seating. The I Did It steering column is a tilt steering column with a matching Budnick leather wrap steering wheel. On that steering column is the I Did It ID Touch touch ignition system. On the front custom upholstered dash houses the stainless steel automator gauges that have carbon fiber inspired bezel. And the carbon fiber doesn't stop there as the front eight pillars are custom carbon fiber and house the AEM digital gauges, giving you a clear and visible readout. Just above the center console is the vintage air conditioning digital display, which not only gives you ice cold air conditioning, but heating as well. Just below that is a seven inch Kenwood radio with AM, FM, Bluetooth, and wireless Apple CarPlay giving you a sound like no other with over six speakers in the cabin and two subwoofers in the custom trunk. The JL audio name has been well known for over 25 years. And if you think that's cool, check out what happens when the car is in reverse. Yes, a reverse camera. And when you put it into first gear, a front camera pops up as well, giving you ease of parking your car or just driving up a steep driveway. Flowing through that center console is a leather wrapped Hurst shifter that is connected to a T56 six speed manual transmission. And just above that are the power window switches that give you easy access to roll the windows up and down of all of the four tinted windows. Also in the center console is a stainless steel cup holder that even has a red illuminated light That'll light up your water bottle when going to car shows. The amenities don't stop there with a Python alarm system that not only gives you security, but power door locks as well. And last but not least, with safety being of such high importance, the front driver and passengers have a newly installed three-point seatbelt. Overall, a well-executed custom interior that not only has modern amenities, but a full custom interior you won't see anywhere else. Where this car shines is when you drive it. And unfortunately, it's not something that you could see, but you could feel. And I'm talking about the TCI tubular subframe. Now this is a very key important factor with such a high horsepower build. It makes a huge difference from a once unibody to now pretty much a full framed 1969 Camaro. I mean, the rigidity is on match. With getting a tubular subframe, gives you the ability to take turns harder and smoother with little to no body roll. Not to mention the added hydraulic rack and pinion steering, as well as the tubular and upper lower control arms, gives this Camaro independent front suspension. To help with the anti-sway is a heavy-duty sway bar, and sucking up all those bumps are the fully adjustable RideTech coilover system. As we move towards the back of this vehicle, the tubular subframe is connected to a tubular triangulated four-link system that houses that massive nine-inch rear end. And yes, the four-link system does have the matching RideTech adjustable coilover system as well giving you the opportunity to not only raise and lower this Camaro, but adjust the dampness of the shocks as well. And last but not least, the showcase winner of this vehicle is the fully coated underbody. And I don't mean undercoating, but a fully painted, wet sanded, buffed and polished matching red underbody. It really sets off the black subframe components and the stainless steel shorty exhaust system. So after you get done with a long, hard day on the track with this bad boy, you can always go to a car show and pick yourself a trophy up on the way home. And guys, I'm Chris Mazzarella, and you've been watching No Reserve Classics. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to give me a call, Chris, at 1-800-562-7815. And if you guys haven't done it already, make sure you hit that subscribe button because you never know, 
Your dream ride could be in the next video.